What exactly are all NBA teams and what does it mean for these guys? The all NBA teams are just honoring the best players in the NBA through three five man lineups, a first team, second team and third team. But how are they selected? The players are voted on by a global panel of sports writers and broadcasters, but this season the voting system changed in a big way. From 1956 to 2023, voters selected based on position, with two guards, two forwards, and a center for each All-NBA team, except this caused some issues. Like in 2016, Draymond Green received votes for forward and center, and since those votes weren't added together, he dropped the second team as a forward, even though he had more total votes than the first team center, DeAndre Jordan. So here's what happens now. The all NBA teams have adopted the same system as the all WNBA teams, where it's now positionless voting. Ironically, this is how it worked when all NBA started in 1946 before they changed it in 1956. But here's the meat and potatoes. What does being selected to first team all NBA mean for SGA and Luka Doncic? They're now eligible to make NBA history. Let's start with SGA. In 2025, he can sign a Supermax extension that includes the two years remaining on his contract, and here's what it would look like. And yes, the 2030 salary is not a typo. He would become the first player to earn 80 million in a single season but Luca's situation is even crazier. Luca can also sign a Supermax extension in 2025, and here's how his would look. A total of 346 million. The largest contract in NBA history, but the most insane part about all of this, they've both secured this eligibility, meaning even if they don't make an all-NBA team next season, they can still sign these contracts. I'm Mike Talk Sports. Follow for more.